During the Los Angeles Lakers' recent game against the Houston Rockets, Lonzo Ball was cutting in towards the basket when he appeared to suffer a pretty devastating looking injury to his left ankle. He was in so much pain afterwards that he had to be carried off the court by his teammates and was even in a wheelchair in the locker room because he couldn't put any weight on it and then ultimately went to a hospital that night to get x-rays. We then just found out that after an MRI was performed, it was revealed he has a grade three sprain of his ankle and is gonna miss up to the next four to six weeks. Welcome back everybody. For those new, my name is Brian and I'm a doctor and a huge sports fan and it's my goal on this channel to break down different sports injuries to help explain them in a way that's easier for the common fan to understand and hopefully learn from. Now, I don't typically put videos out this quickly, but I wanna be a place where you guys can come whenever an athlete suffers an injury and you wanna know more information about what actually is going on. And so today we're gonna to talk about the recent ankle sprain suffered by Los Angeles Lakers, Lonzo Ball. We're gonna go over footage of the injury to point out exactly what happened. We're gonna talk about our anatomy of the actual ankle ligaments. We're gonna review the different ways we grade ankle sprains from grade one to a grade three and what it means that he has a grade three sprain. And then last of all, we're gonna talk about how they rehab these type of injuries and what it could mean for the rest of his playing season. So without any more delay, let's get right into it. Let's roll the footage and take a look at the actual play that caused him to injure his ankle. And Lonzo Ball shaking up, grabbing that left ankle. Didn't even try to get up. So we can see him cutting in towards the basket here, and as he plants with that left foot, you can see it pretty drastically roll over. And ultimately, of course, we can see he's in so much pain that he can't even put any weight on it and has to get carried off the court and then ended up going to a hospital for x-rays. Now, reportedly, the machine wasn't working at the Rockets Arena, and so he had to go to a local hospital. And the first step of those x-rays is really just to make sure there's no fracture. Whenever you roll or sprain your ankle, you can sometimes have a fracture and that might need to get repaired in a different way or more sooner than just a routine sprain. Now, once we found out that there was no fracture on the x-rays, he got an MRI the next day, and that does a much better job at looking at the actual soft tissue, so the ligaments, the muscles, the tendons in the ankle, and that's when we found out he has the grade three sprain. Let's talk next about some anatomy to get a sense of what different ligaments are implicated whenever someone has an ankle sprain. Now we have ligaments on the inside of the ankle joint and the outside of the ankle joint, and that outer set of ligaments is the lateral set of ligaments. And if we look here, they're all basically named for the different bones that they attach. So as we've talked before, ligaments attach bones to bones. And so all these ligaments on the outside of the ankle are attaching the bones together to help provide structural support. Now of all these ligaments, the two that are most commonly injured in a low ankle sprain are the calcaneofibular ligament and the anterior tibiofibular ligament pointed out here. And that accounts for around like 90% of all ankle sprains. So more than likely this is what he has, but we don't really know for certain if it's the high or the low ankle sprain. A high ankle sprain is in a different set of ligaments that more connect the tibia and the fibula together as opposed to the bones of the leg to the bones of the foot. Of course, whenever we look back here at kind of the image of the actual injury itself, you can imagine all those ligaments on that outside of the ankle being stretched and pulled whenever his ankle rolls like that and that's what causes them to ultimately tear or become sprained. So to help us understand the difference between a grade one through a grade three injury, I'm gonna use a basic tissue here, nothing fancy. So a grade one is the most mild. Think of a grade one as having sort of these little kind of micro tears scattered throughout the ligament. You know, it's still intact, but there's some kind of little tiny areas of trauma in, inside of it, but it's still pretty good. Not too bad, heals up pretty quickly. Now a grade two, is going to be a partial tear. So it's a little bit torn, but overall, again, it's still intact. It can heal back up pretty quickly. Once again, not that big of a deal. Now, unfortunately, as you can probably guess, a grade three, which is what Lonzo Ball has, is an actual complete tear of that ligament in the ankle. And so there's, there's not much there. There's nothing hanging on, there's nothing holding it together. And so it's an overall much more serious injury. Now, how do we treat this? What does it mean? You would think, okay, the ligament's completely torn, like it's not gonna heal, you need surgery, right? Not necessarily. The majority of times what we do is we just immobilize the joint, so we put them in some sort of cast or a walking boot, and oftentimes those ligaments can actually fuse back up and heal together on their own without any sort of surgery. As long as you keep the joint immobile and you keep it restricted for a number of weeks, you can allow that ligament to actually heal back together. Now the things to watch for afterwards as you start to do more recovery is you wanna make sure there's no instability in the joint. So they're gonna test it, they're gonna move it around, see how loose or how tight it is. 
And certainly if the ligament doesn't heal back up on its own, then that's when they're gonna have to go back in and do a surgical operation to try to tie it back together. And so that timeline they're giving him is enough time to hopefully allow that ligament to start to heal back together and then get him back into basketball activities and then ultimately get back on out to the court. Now certainly in follow-up after having one ankle injury, you're more prone to another if you don't let that ligament heal all the way back up. So it's gonna be really important for his long-term playing career that they really ensure that that ligament is nice and healed before he goes back out on the court and risks damaging it again. Also, whenever one structure of a joint is damaged, you put the other structures at more risk of injury. So if he goes back out in place before that ligament is healed, then you're at risk of tearing the other ligaments in the foot and ankle as well. But in all honesty, assuming everything heals back up just fine, there shouldn't be any long-term implications on his playing style or career. Certainly at first, it might be a little bit harder to kind of have that confidence of pushing off, He'll probably start wearing some sort of ankle brace to provide some more structural support to the ankle joint. But assuming everything heals up great, there really shouldn't be much of a difference long term. So that's it for this video, guys. Happy to get this one out to you all pretty quick. Like I said, I don't expect to do them always this frequently, but anytime there's a big injury, I want to be a place you guys can come to get some more information. So I hope this was helpful to let you understand what's going on and understand the difference between a grade one, a grade two, and a grade three ankle sprain. As always, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.